gap for them to retreat. And he absolutely is going to be losing this third. Yep, I hope he can get some of those uh, drones out of there. He is moving them out right now. He should be able to escape with them. He's taking them um, right through the Protoss army. Mm. And he saves quite a few. Yep. Uh, if we look on the unit counting station, they're actually now even in harvesters and even on bases. And this uh, favors the Protoss a lot since their army is much more um, durable so they can survive... They're much more durable. That's yeah, absolutely. I mean, Zerg always has to be one base ahead of their opponent, whether they're playing Protoss mm -hmm. or Terran. That's just how they survive. They need the extra larva. They need to be able to come in from all sorts of angles. They need, they just need to be on more bases. So definitely being on the same par as the Protoss base right now in base size is not going to not gonna favor the Zerg whatsoever. Yes, and uh, Viper should be going, leaving to uh, retake his third ASAP. He does have the minerals for it, and he's got some roaches popping to kill off this pesky little stalker shooting at the eggs. For those who don't know, eggs are basically indestructible. <laughs> yeah, they are. You cannot kill an egg no. unless you are shooting at it with like 10 Colossus. Yeah, or like 14 Archons, and it will take them like three minutes. That's awesome. Yeah. Eggs are awesome. <laughs> I wish, like, as a Protoss... I wish I could just like mass up eggs and make a wall with them. <laughs> just that be amazing? Tank with the eggs. What are they? It's like they got like three. Oh my god! And we see Viper going through a, for a huge drop. This could be epic. This is what I like to call the doomsday drop. <laughs> Armageddon. Uh, Ashley has DTs though coming in to Viper's base at the moment. Viper's not going to see gonna those notice DTs. It. He There's... doesn't have to. Oh, he does have detection at his base because of the spore colonies. But mm. Ashley sees this drop, and he's gonna drop on this Protoss army. Oh, oh! and there goes the drops. Awesome by Viper! What an awesome, sick drop. Yeah, this is very cool. Oh, Those force fields are gonna do nothing. Thumps that expansion, but she does have DTs up there that Viper does not see, and those DTs are having free reign. Just oh, they were fighting the army, yeah, but now where they're are they running. Going? Ashley needs to get those DTs back and killing that army before an Overseer comes. Yep. Even if she loses those DTs, it's going to force Viper to stop. And now the Doomsday oh, the Overlord. the Doomsday Overlord drop is upon us. Oh, my goodness. And Ashley should be trying to get a few picks off here, trying to kill a few Overlords. She has a whole bunch of DTs, oh my God. which actually are going to clean this up, I think. It is happening right now. The DTs are going to be able to do a lot of damage, but there is... Creep spread in the base. Wow. I think uh, she's going to pull this off, though, because of the DTs and less he morphs into Overseer right now, but great, great play by yeah. Viper. Awesome. Yeah, Viper has about, like, 16 Overlords right here. Ah, he has two Overseers she comes coming Overseers, in. but a little too, little too late. She has yep. so many units in there, but what an awesome play. Viper has yep. so much money, he can macro up an army really fast right now. He did stop that third by Ashley, but... And he is getting that gold. It was a little bit delayed. I wish he could have uh, grabbed that a little sooner. By the time this battle was over, he could have had it up and running. But still, what an awesome. I totally agree. Yeah, that was great. That was exactly what he needed to do to get back in this game. Uh, <laughs> Ashley actually isn't in a terrible position. She's still ahead on probes. Uh, her army isn't that weak. She's got a whole bunch of DTs that could be utilized into Archons <laughs> if she chooses to do so. And... Viper just now has his gold base going up and is throwing down another base. But as I said earlier, she, he's still down on drone counts, so he needs to pump out some drones to catch up. Oh, and Ash is moving out on this base. She's going to be able to take this down before Viper gets there, possibly. Those DTs do sick damage. She is going to sacrifice a lot of units. Ah. Oh, my gosh, and the battle's commencing. She does have overseers to snipe those guys. And he does have yep. Burrow. Great use of Burrow in that attack. Ashley's going to have to back off. Oh, awesome. very cool. Awesome. Yeah. And even though DTs one-shot drones, they also get one-shotted by roaches. So, yeah, yeah. one-shotted. But they're very weak. And Do they get one-shotted by roaches? No, no, they don't. But they're very weak. Yeah, I was yeah. using that as a I was going to say, I was like, dude, that would be sick. <laughs> but, 
Not for the Protoss. Yeah, not for the Protoss. <laughs> I just favor Zerg because I'm a Zerg player, but no, this is good. Mm -hmm. And remember, this is Ashley's off race, but we do have Viper go for Aspire at the moment with plus two Zergling missile attack. Um, he's, doing a, he's doing a lot of right moves right now. I like it. Yep, he's uh, making sure Ashley... He's, he's holding off all the attacks from Ashley. He did, with that Doomsday Drop, put a lot of pressure on him. And he's actually got four Roaches in an Overlord. Uh, I assume to go towards Ashley's main to put a little bit of a harassment on. Awesome. I don't know if Viper spotted that Ashley... Uh, Ashley. Ashley is going Colossi and um, Extended Thermal Lances, but he is getting that... Uh, he does have that Spire up now, so hopefully he's going to be seeing some Corruptors to... Uh, Yeah, he's going to need a, a few Corruptors to counter those Colossi because right now all he has is Roaches. And Roaches versus a Colossus mix isn't very good. Right, absolutely. But he does have Burrow. Um, I, li um, I like how he used those Burrow in the last attack. Ashley is having Archon. She's going to have Archons, Colossi, Sentries, Stalker, she Void Ray. She is going to have a Death Ball coming here pretty soon. Yep, and the... Uh, Viper does actually do a two-pronged drop. There was a drop in nice. her third and uh, in his main. Nice. In her main. And uh, both players are actually going to get supply blocks from this drop, ironically. <laughs> the drop at the third was kind of thwarted and didn't do too much. Ashley did a great job of uh, splitting her army up to deal with that and didn't lose too much. We see Viper going for a hive tech at the moment. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Yep. Maybe we'll see some Broodlords or Ultralisks. He does have... He did get uh, um, Infestor Energy. The uh, What is it called? Pathogen Glands, I think. He did get the Infestor Energy. I don't know if he has any Infestors on the battlefield at the moment. He does not. But he, he did get... He has training right now. Yeah. And he does have a Greater Spire, so we are going to see some Broodlords. Oh. I'm not sure I like this mix too much of Roach, Infestor... A Hydralisk, and actually he's got some more Hydralisks coming. A Hydralisk, what a boss. <laughs> yeah. And he's he's actually just now maxed. So uh, if he wants to do any type of pressure, he should do it now before Ashley maxes and gets that full death ball going. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's going to... I wonder if those Infestors are going to get... They are. Not, they do not have Neural Parasite, so they are not going to be very good against those Colossi. Mm-hmm. He's going to need to use those roaches to get up. If he does another awesome drop, though, those Colossi could get hurt pretty bad. It looks like he's yep. moving out on Ashley's army. There's, she's stuck up in the Zelnaga Tower. Could be a bad spot for her because all his army is surrounding Ashley. He has such a good position, such a great concave on this army. Yeah, nice little force fields to try to split the army, but this is uh, there's just too many things. Oh, what an Ashley awesome GGs. play by Viper. Good game. Great. Great yeah, game. that was a I great game. Loved, I loved his Zerg style. That was a great timing by Ashley to kill that early third from Viper, and then great response by Viper to do that Doomsday drop. <laughs> that oh, Doomsday so much drop, fun. and just catching catching Ashley up in the Zelnaga Tower on Creep. He was so fast oh, to yeah. get to it. Definitely awesome. a great decision making. Anyway, GG. Yep, GG, fellas.